You ghosted me. I know. Twice. I didn't feel like I deserved you. And now after ghosting me twice, you do? No. No. I just... Shelby, give me one more chance. Why? I can't keep dating guys with Peter Pan syndrome. Peter Pan syndrome? Boys who never grow up. Look, I really liked you, which is why I gave you a second chance, but... I'm old school. I want to be wooed, like, wooed hard, and this is not that. I'm wooing you. That's no. Shut up. That's not what I meant. <laughs> okay. Look, I gotta go. But I'll see you later. Yeah, okay, bye. Shelby. Meg. Okay, Connor, I'm officially grossed out. Time to go home. You can't kick me out, I work here. Not anymore, remember? I didn't sleep with his daughter. Yeah, but you tried pretty hard. <sighs> pretty hard. <laughs> go home, Connor. <laughs> Two things. First, wow. Second, was that the Scott who keeps ghosting you? Uh, yes, I have a problem. I love assholes. Yes, yes you do. Why was he here? Don't worry, I was good, I kicked him out. Thank God. <laughs> Wait, why are there still straws on your bar? Hide those things, they kill sea turtles. What? Yes, they, like many of the dudes that you choose, take hundreds of years to disappear. What? Okay, I'm hiding these things. Wait, but look at you. Is all of this for Drew's party tonight? Uh, well, it is, but it's also my five year wedding anniversary with my husband, so I'm meeting him for dinner before. I can't believe I haven't met him yet. I know, it's kind of insane that you haven't. The usual? Yes, please. So the five-year wedding gift is supposed to be something wooden, but I got him these instead. Oh my gosh, Hamilton, you're making my left boob hurt. You mean your heart? <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> hey guys, wanna see a menu? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? Meg? Oh god. What? Th this is my husband, Ben, and this is my assistant, Brittany. Hi. Baby. <laughs> we were going to tell you. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. How long? Not Six long. months. Six months? So right after I got my promotion? Right. It's it's not what it looks like. Oh, yes, it is. Just go. Meg, hang on. Baby, stop. Leave. Please, okay. leave. Meg. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. Go now. Relax. Thank you. Meg, please leave. Out. Just take a breath, Meg. Out Meg. before I give it back to her. I'm Meg. sorry. I Why do you have a bat? Um, I, I don't know. I just, I found it the other day, but it came in really handy just then. Um, plus, the boys will think I'm all sporty and stuff. I just, 
I don't... That didn't really just happen, did it? Um... Well, the plus is that uh, you can take me to Hamilton now instead, and uh, and we're saving the planet today, so we got this. I, I think let's just um, pour you a little more here. Should I just start you a margarita IV? Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> mm. What are you hiding? Nothing. Patrick, you're right in front of me. I can see. Donuts? Okay, fine. Shelby, okay, I have donuts, sue me. We've been over this, only food from the menu. If my manager comes in and sees, I'm in trouble. At least have the decency to sneak in in the bathroom. If Beyonce wants to eat her donuts in peace, she eats her donuts in peace. I highly doubt Beyonce would ever even look at a donut. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. We'll send you home, Patrick. No, no, don't. It's far. I live upstairs. Would you like a donut? I'll give it to you for free. Please, Patrick. Fine. Sorry, I was just trying to share my most prized possession with you, but fine. I'll put it away. Thank you. Oh my God, Patrick, you were supposed to meet me an hour ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. I just lost track of time. By all means, take him. What? You know what? I can't. I asked you for one thing, one fucking thing. I'm sorry, I just got a little distracted. Oh my God, when I start hyperventilating, I can't breathe. I can't breathe, I can't breathe, holy shit. Breathe, Michael, breathe. Why are you being so dramatic right now? You have time. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm having a panic attack and you're calling me dramatic. What is going on? I can't operate like this anymore. I waited for an hour for him to come do my makeup before realizing he was obviously still here. You look prettier without makeup anyway. I'll do it. What? Can I do your makeup? Drew's party doesn't start for a while, okay? 
Um, we can sit over there so I can still jump up at bartend if I have to. Bless you, child. Yes, please. Okay. Patrick, stay here and yell back if anyone tries to come in or if she tries to go out. All right, bossy pants. I heard that. I'm fine, everything's fine, we're fine. She seems fine to me. Listen, why don't you join me over here and we can be messes together. Sure, I'll join you, but again, I'm fine. fine. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're making an Instagram video. I love this so much. So what's this for anyway? Well, the new MC at this shrinky new spot happened to hear me the other night and asked me to come sing as a guest. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a big freaking deal. I've never been myself in public before. Hell yeah. I'm so happy I brought my sparkles today. Yes. Do you want a beer before you go? Oh, no. Michael drinks beer. Dame Ophelia <gasps> Legs drinks margaritas. Oh, done and done. I'm beautiful. Yes. Yes, you are. Thank you, Shelby. You're welcome. You know you don't pay me enough for fixing your life and being your therapist, right? What? Oh my god, she's a vision. I'm ready. We'll be back. Oh, this bitch. there. Um, I'm Shelby. I'm Peyton. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I've never seen you here before. Oh, it's my first time. I just moved to New York last week. Oh, welcome. Mm -hmm. What's you. your poison? You know, I would just love a cosmopolitan. I'm feeling so sex in the city tonight. You southern girls just love your sex in the city. How did you know I was from the south? Do I stick out that much? Just a really good guy. <laughs>
Okay, just so you know, I'm gonna keep these coming until you tell me not to. Oh, honey, you are just a treat. Mmm. <laughs> I'll need that tonight. <laughs> First date? Yes. <laughs> I'm so nervous, but excited. I don't know, I just have all these butterflies. Oh, which app? Oh, we met on the plane on the way to New York when I was moving here. We're both from Texas. You met in real life? Mm -hmm. What is this, a romantic comedy? I surely hope so. I always hope my life would turn out like that. I mean, I can't wait to have a big fat rock and a million little me's running around. <laughs> okay, quick, tell me everything about him before he comes. <sighs> okay. So, I have a window seat match, and I'm wearing absolutely no makeup because I'm just dying from a hangover. I mean, I fell asleep before the plane even took off. Okay, solid start. So then, I'll wake up the moment before the drink cart comes by, and there's Prince Charming sitting right next to me, and we both order ginger ale. And he goes, I always get this when I'm hungover. And I'm like, hashtag me too. Okay, right? so then you talk the whole time and you're in love just well, like that? Hold on. So he asked if he can get my number and I said yes, obviously. Okay. <laughs> and then the plane starts to land and I threw up in his barf bag right there in front of him. No. Yes, I mean, I literally couldn't hold it in. I mean, so unladylike of me. What? No, nightmare. Yeah, so we land and he's really sweet and I'm carrying a barf bag because I don't want to leave it behind for the flight attendants. You carried your barf bag, you freak. <laughs> so we walk the whole way to baggage claim and there is no trash can <laughs> anywhere. So now I'm traveling with my barf bag and my new cute man and I don't know what to do with it. Uh, I. I, I'm just so overwhelmed by you right now. Oh shoot, <laughs> that's him. Okay, I'm gonna bring up French Bulldogs if I don't like him, okay? Okay, you will, but okay. <laughs> I can't believe I gave so much of my life to him. I'm gonna sell his stupid boat. I'd keep the boat and sell his awful shirts, but you do you. I'll sell those too. Oh, great. I'm gonna have to go save Southern Bambi now. No, Connor. Come back tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. <sighs> it's really good to see you two. I'll uh, try not to get sick this time. Well, I'll tell you what. If it happens twice, we'll take it as a sign. Oh my <laughs> gosh, we... look at this French bulldog. What? No. Oh, oh come on. You don't like French bulldogs? Oh, no, I love French bulldogs. I am. Um, but I do have a question. Why is Peter Pants off sending you a woo and then eggplant emojis? Okay, I'll take care of Peter Pants off and you worry about French bulldogs, okay? Hey, you know what? I think I have seen you somewhere before. Have we ever met? Uh, maybe I've tended bar for you before. Not too sure. People tell me I have a generic face. Sure. Sounds about right. Well, hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> you have to ditch him, like, now. No, you don't understand. I haven't done anything intimate with anyone in a very long time. He already has a girlfriend and a side girl. He comes in all the time and doesn't even know one bartender's name. We call him applause because, you know, he's probably got the clap. What, are you sure? He also drinks Jaeger bombs and regularly tips 10%. He is no Southern gentleman, honey. He is a New York fork. Okay, ew. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I don't know, but he's coming back. Good luck. All right, so where were we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I hate to do this, but I don't think this is gonna work out. Oh, uh, I mean, why? I'm expecting. You, oh. Wow, well, yeah, um. Yeah, I, I thought I could do this. Um, yeah, but that's too much to put on you. Yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. All right, well, good luck for that. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, you're expecting? Well, I'm not expecting, like, pregnancy expecting. I'm expecting to never see him again. Uh, Thank God for pizza bellies. You minx, and here I was thinking you were Southern Bambi. Mm. No, honey, they make us strong in the South. Well, cheers to you becoming the newest New Yorker. <laughs> cheers.
Shelby! My little monstrosities. I was wondering if you were ever coming back. Shelby! Hey, Shelves. <laughs> Ezra, I forgot his keys, so I had to go back with them. But come on, I was gonna miss my own birthday party. That would have been nuttier than squirrel poo. I have no <laughs> idea where you come up with these. Oh, I'm just getting started. <laughs> Well, what are we having, boys? The usual? Yes, please. <laughs> Don't forget to put your name tags on, okay? Why are there name tags? I found them today and thought it would be fun. All right, weirdo. You're welcome. Ooh, mine can say neat, you know, because I take my drink without ice. That's not a whiskey neat, that's a shot. It's the same thing, isn't it? Um, no. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Yes, such a lady killer. Hi guys. You came. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Happy birthday. Thank you. How old is Laha now? You finally learned Hawaiian. Do you want to dance? Absolutely. You could. Never felt so understood by a woman in my entire life. <laughs> Not even by me. I could get you. Whoa. You're, you're, you're talking to me? <laughs> you're, you're so pretty. Oh, God. What? Nothing. I need my own business. Hey, lady. Hey, dear. How's like treating you? Well, I can't get a hold of my husband, but I'm here, so I'm happy. Fair enough. I could be your husband tonight. What are you doing? Isn't this what people do when they don't want you? Oh. Yeah, apps, not in real life. Well, this is soul crushing. Go home, Connor. Leave the nice lady alone. Why are you like this? I could ask you the same thing. Go home, you little monster. Go. Thank you, sweetheart. You got it. Oh, uh, I'll take my next drink neat, sweetheart. Did you just call me a sweetheart? Ugh, that is so misogynistic. Show some goddamn respect, man. Come on. What? But he just did. Seriously? I'm, I'm sorry? Let me explain. <sighs> okay. So you know you've got to tell me about Queen Esther. Mm, what do you mean? Come on. Wait, one night you were talking about the one that got away. Pretty sure her name was Esther, but there's something else. She has bone cancer. What? Yeah, she was given two months to live. No. And I don't know what to do about it. She says she wants to enjoy every minute that she has left. Do you love her? I always have, but really tell her that now, though. You can. I didn't exactly treat her that great. There's a reason she got away. Oh. Where can I put the dirties? Oh, Esther, let me take those, please. You gotta enjoy yourself. Have another drink. Relax. Did you get any cake yet? Here. Oh my gosh, thank you, Esther. But you gotta let me do this and you gotta enjoy yourself. I know you're working, but you should have fun too, okay? Always find a way. Oh, you've got a little, um... Oh. 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 Well, that went well. Please do not tell anyone about that. Okay, Ezra, it is officially your turn to dance with me. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to tell her. 
I don't know how. Those dance moves. I know. I'm so intimidated by it. <laughs> Okay, so Drew's the cute one over there. He's in love with Esther there and is basically the perfect human. Ezra's the tatted one next to him. He called me sweetheart today, so I'm holding a grudge, but normally he's cool. Oh. Mm. Okay, what about her? Is she okay? Oh, um, that's Meg. I can't divulge what's going on there, but she's going to be just fine. <laughs> What about that couple? Okay. What about the couple over there? Oh, they're actually not a couple. They're best friends. His wife is actually right there. Hmm. They look mighty cozy together. Oh, it's a whole thing, honey. Hold on. I'm going to go check on her. <laughs> Has anyone seen my husband? Shelby, I think I lost him. Or Mia. I haven't seen either of them in a really long time. Guys, they're at the table right behind you. <laughs> Have they been there the whole time? They've been there for like two minutes. Huh. Can I tell you a secret? Tell me everything. I think Mia is in love with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just look at them back there. Interesting. Uh, Sophie, what do you think? Mia, in love with Anthony. No! I mean, what on earth made you think that? <laughs> they dated like half of their lives when they've been back there canoodling for a really long time. What if she's convincing him to run away with okay, her? They dated for a year. You two just got married, so I promise you that's not happening. I just, they just have this spark, this passion about them that I don't. Do you see where she just put her hands? Wait, I promise you. Oh no, here I come, bitch. Waffle. What is going on? What? Why do you have your hands in my husband's pants? Whoa, they're, they're not. Well, then why does it look like your hands are in my husband's I pants? I want to show her whatever it is that you're holding. No. Uh, I show me. Okay, Kat, let's just calm down. Catherine thinks you're in love with Anthony. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, it's time. Mm. Sophie and I are together. <laughs> what? 
but you and you oh i th i thought that was just a phase yeah people really have to stop calling other people's sexuality phases we wanted to keep it a secret because we didn't want to make a big deal out of it until we knew we were serious we're in love <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so happy. Oh, Mia, I am so sorry. I, I oh, it's okay. Let's celebrate. Come, get another drink with me. I'm going to propose <gasps> to Sophie. What? Yes. Why I was hiding it under the table. Oh my god! Put it away quick, they're coming. Yeah. Cheers to doing? Sophie and Mia. <laughs> that go for everyone. Thanks, Shelby. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Amazing, isn't it? Mm. Is that girl gonna propose to that girl? Yes. Tell me it's Princess Cut. A cushion cut. Ew, not for me. Love is love is love. Last call, all right? Oh. Exactly. So, according to the many worlds mm. theories, there are infinite parallel universes, but you have made infinite other decisions. Meaning, every single decision you've ever made in this universe affects you and everyone else around you somehow. <laughs> right. <laughs> so every decision you make is infinitely important. Even not making a decision is making a decision. Hmm. You have to be proactive with your life. Okay. Is this one? Oh, that's hers. <laughs> I hope to surprise you every day for the rest of our lives. And um, every day. How do you expect to do that? Oh, oh, Patricia, no. use sloppy and basic. Sorry. It's time for you to stop drinking. Can I have some napkins, please? Yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry. Thanks so much. There you go. Hey. Uh, hi. Oh. Well, hi there. I, uh, I didn't see you there. <laughs> well, I've been here for a while now. You've been here the whole time? Mm -hmm. That's so neat. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're off to a rocky start for this <laughs> You are setting a really high bar. <laughs> oh my gosh, can we be best friends? You know, I was just thinking another girl best friend is exactly what I needed. Yay, friends! <laughs> oh, 
I'll be right back. Maybe. Problem is, I sit between problem number one and problem number one. So, are you kidding me? You can do so much. You have so much time. Yeah. Mm, looks like you two have things figured out. I think we do. Okay, sera sera. What will be, will be. Uh, sure. I... Drew. Can we have another party, but with this time live music? Anything you want. <laughs> One more, just let me in for one more and then I'll leave, I promise. We are closed, you giant toddler. But I can see the alcohol. No, bro, go home. Screw you! And a lovely night to you too, Con. How did you know about Yellow Roses? You told me once. I did? Yikes. I drink too much. <laughs> it's late, Scott. Oh, I can see the stars. It's New York. What stars? Look, I know it's late. I just want to walk you home. Maybe get a drink along the way, old school. Come on, Shelby. Give me one more chance, please. Okay, one more drink. The usual? <laughs>